Well, our, our concept is, is, you know, I mean, Vancouver is being a, a very multicultural, very rich uh, environment as far as food-wise. So one of the things that, that we, we think, you know, there's a lot of good traditional Japanese food. Our tagline, our, our concept is, is Japanese food with international flair. We think they go really well together. That's what we're hoping people will come and give us a try. This is a classic example, salmon carpaccio. And most people heard of it have tried salmon sashimi, which is basically, you know, raw salmon. But what we have done is we have done the same thing, except we use balsamic vinegar. Good. Really good. Mm. Awesome. The balsamic vinegar is really good on it. It's almost sweet, mm. but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one is the firecracker roll, and it is really a beautiful roll. Uh, the sauce on top is, is again homemade sauce. That's what makes a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, you know, the inside ingredient is, is you know has crab meat, has has avocado, has cucumber, but the, the combination. Is what makes it special. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. This is uh, sunrise roll, uh, mango on top with a uh, topico mm. on the very top, and the inside has uh, avocado, have uh, actually white fish. It's actually a kitchen fish. <laughs> Okay, some uh, cucumber inside. This one? It's called a sunrise roll. Sunrise roll, right. Nice. Yeah, it looks like sunrise. <laughs> it's mango on top. Yeah, mango. It's fresh mango on top. Uh, mm. This one, we don't always have them because if it, only if it's the right season. Yeah. Now, Vancouver is a little bit nicer because we, we actually do have mango most of the year, but it's mm. not all the time. Pearl chicken is tender chicken strip with pearls, actually little rice balls, but they are actually specially ordered only from Japan. The idea is that tender inside mm -hmm. and crunchy out outside. Mm. Uh, they're not oily. The, the mayo is, is, is Japanese mayo, which is, is a little bit different than our, and our traditional mayo that we have in North America. Mm -hmm. uh, they are actually more rich, and, and again, they did a very nice texture. Mm. Lovely. Great. So he says that using that, it creates a kind of crispy texture without any oiliness. Mm. Wow. This is Japanese mayo. Mm. That is so good. Mm. It's got a really nice texture to it, crunchy and gr not greasy. Exactly mm -hmm. what he said. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's really good. Make those little pearls. Mm. I'm gonna try this one without any soy sauce. So that's the firecracker roll. Mm -hmm. Firecracker roll. It's mm -hmm. got um, crab inside, mm -hmm. um, some tobiko on top. Yeah. It's kind of an interesting presentation too. It's kind of a sliced mm -hmm. kind of sushi. Mm. Mm. This one's got a little bit of heat in it, mm -hmm. but not not too much at all. Just to her for flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. Nice. This one is the the sunrise roll. Nice slice of mango on top. Mm -hmm. How's mm. that one? Mm -hmm. Sorry, full mouth. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's nice to know that they only serve this when the mango is fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wake up with which we barbecue them from, from the beginning. So you got to make sure the inside is actually cooked and the outside is, is not overly done, not, not underdone kind of thing. It's just, you know, got to be just right. Interesting. Yeah. So it smells good. Please share a little bit on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Going all out with the meats today. So these are the chicken wings? Mmm. Very tender. Very tender. Mm. Nice. You said they cook them robada style, right? Slow cook. Slow cook on a grill. Very tasty. It's actually one of our signature dish, prawn filo. So it's done a similar way as a uh, tempura, except we use filo, which is a Greek pastry, and it's uh, and our special sauce. Wow, look at that. How do they do that? The spirals? It's amazing. It's beautiful. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It, it's got like layers and layers. The mm -hmm. filo gives it this complexity and the texture almost. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a different take on having tempura. Yeah, yes. exactly. This is, it sounds very plain. It's just bacon, tomato. Great to taste it. 
this is uh, beef enoki. Enoki mushroom, you know, the similar thing. Mm -hmm. And with a, a nice triple A beef. Mm. What do you think of that one? Mm. Like you bite into it thinking it's a full chunk of beef. Mm -hmm. and then you have the mushroom inside, which is so nice. go wrong with bacon and tomatoes. <laughs> mm. That's right. Mm. So true. Mm. This is beautiful. Thank you. you. Well, Cut them so that they they not they not grind and it just tastes differently than if you put it to a, a meat grinder. So what's the name of this dish? It's called beef just beef stone rice. Beef beef on beef stone rice. Yeah. Beef stone rice. Beef stone rice. Beef stone beef rice. rice. Yeah. So what it does is is um, is is you know just raw rice and then and then. It's, is raw beef, triple A Angus beef mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. top with the, with our sauce and with a curl egg. So what it does is actually because the bowl is actually very hot, so be very careful. Uh, what it does is, is it actually cooks it while while we we're mixing it. I have to say that actually this clay pot with rice is one of my favorites when I go to restaurants mm. like this. Mm. That is very good. A little bit crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the longer you leave it in the pot, the crunchier there's some of the rice gets, mm -hmm. which I really like. Mm. Mm. It's very good. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. You should get in there. What are some of your favorite uh, drinks? Uh, favorite. I do like the chichi recipe. It's something that Sunny actually made, and um, it's a little bit of everything. Some smirnoff, some um, pineapple, coconut juice. It's really sweet. But it's also really good. Great. You guys serve a lot of sake too. Yes, definitely a lot of sake. We have um, 12 different type of cold sake and like five different hot ones. That's <laughs> yeah, so nice. a pretty big range of sake. So is all the sake from Japan or is um, some from other places? Some of them. They're mostly from Japan, some yeah. of them are local, but okay. I mostly are imported from Japan. Oh. And what do you have on tap? On tap, we actually have um, we have Sapporo, we have Sky Park. We have a sake and a pilsen. And we're thinking of adding some more on it, but we're still debating on which one we should. Yeah. Great. Thank you. And sir, what's your name? Eugene. Eugene. Okay, great. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you very much. No problem. No problem. This is like the upbeat version of the evil castle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>